Hello everyone, it is Lori and I am here to do your uplifting reading all about you. I am going to use the Fenestra Tarot, F-E-N-E-S-T-R-A Tarot, okay? And uh, let's go ahead and see who we are focusing on today. I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and having some fun. Just going to shuffle this up a little bit more here. Yeah, maybe. All right. Let's go ahead and see who we are focusing our spotlight on today. All right. So what is something truly magical about you? The three of pentacles. You're definitely somebody who works very well in a group setting. You know how to take everybody's best qualities and put them to use in the best manner. So if somebody is really strong verbally um, and somebody else is strong physically and somebody else is a caretaker energy, you know how to bring all three of those together to make a single thing happen, an event, um, creative artwork, anything okay you know how to incorporate each aspect of a person's true essence to bring something together productively and creatively and successfully i'm also hearing because you are so good at understanding people and what their strengths are and you also can identify if they have a weakness so say somebody is um, really, really good at communicating, but it's only through written form. If you put them in front of a group of people, they, they kind of stutter, stammer. You understand not to put them in front of a group of people, to have them write the speech and have the other person who's good at being in front of people read the speech, okay? So you know what um, strengths and great qualities each of your, um, whoever you're working with, okay? And this may also be, you may also be like a, um, I'm getting some sort of healthcare um, diagnosing, um, Okay, I'm not getting traditional medicine. I'm getting more like um, mental, uh, soul healing, mental healing, awakenings, um, <sighs> helping people to see their own strengths. I am getting um, traditional medica medicine or non holistic medication too, or me uh, medical, not medication. So you may be like um, a physician or something along those lines where your patient needs certain treatment and you understand that they don't like medications, okay? You know this. You know their strong suits. You know their weaknesses. And, you know, it's never a weakness, but non-strong suits. Um, aspect okay and you decide okay instead of pushing a pill at this person because they don't really care to take medications you know that about them and then you say okay here's what you can try first before we go here okay you can try this physical thing see if you can change your diet if you can do this or that okay you find their strong suits what what works for them so I don't care what field you work in here it looks like we're honoring almost quite a few um, different occupations with this, but you have to deal with other people, okay, where you, you're helping them in some way, shape, or form, or on a team, where you're the team leader, community leader. You're the one that understands the different aspects of each person's personality, and you know how to utilize that. Beautiful. Beautiful. What have you personally achieved that you should be proud of? I knew this card. I either knew this. I, I felt this and I felt the tower was going to come out today. All right. Um, this is the first time I've had the death card in this deck using this tarot deck. Um, I am hearing that you may have literally 
um, crossed over and come back. So a near-death experience. I mean, you literally crossed over, though, and came back. So you were deceased. But others of you, it, this is not a literal death. It's more a death of the ego, of the soul, of expectations, preconceived notions, biases, prejudices. This is the death of all controlling, um, negatively controlling aspects of yourself. Okay, you're, you put an end to all of those things and pulled forward your own best qualities, but understand what things trigger you, what things do not work for you. And that's how you've come to recognize what, how to work with other people, how to bring out the very best in them, how to use a lot, utilize um, each individual person, their special unique talents and put them into a group to work together, okay? I'm not doing this justice. I am just not bringing enough to this right now. And I do apologize for that because this is really, really good. I mean, especially for you to have recognized within yourself that you have very negative qualities. We all do, okay? But you don't want to focus on the negative. You want to acknowledge the negative and say, okay, I understand that if I do this, then I know I could go down a rabbit hole or I could go in the wrong direction. But I'm aware of that, okay? But I also understand what my strong suits are. So you have taken a very negative situation and made it positive. You've seen um, how it has helped to elevate you in life, okay? Because anytime there's a death, something new has to fill that void and that is what is there for you, is that recognition that everybody has strong suits and weaknesses. For lack of a better word, I hate to say weakness, okay? Because it's not a weakness. We just have very strong things and we have other things we're not as good at or as strong in. All right, and, and it's going to be different for everyone because we can all develop different aspects of our personalities, our, our talents, our skills, everything. We get to choose because it's our brain that dictates everything about our life. Okay. What kind of impact do you have on the people around you? The judgment after death. I love it. You release. You show people how to move beyond. To let go of the negative aspects of themselves. Embrace them, I should say. To embrace both the good, the bad, the dark, the light, the the heavy, the light, okay, whatever it is, to bring it into balance and let let the guilt, the shame, the fear, all of that go so that you can move forward and work together. Be at peace with yourself. You do this with other people, okay? This is the impact you have on other people. Beautiful. What's a talent or skill that you have that we should know about uh, funny that we said, uh, I was talking about communication. Um, we have the Eight of Wands here. And this is telling me that you are very good at communicating and taking action. I'm hearing following through on your word. You're very good at that. You're very, very good. So people trust you. They see you. If you say you're going to do something, you do it. That's one of your strong suits. OK, but you're also very good at communicating with people and bringing everybody into alignment. OK, so this person is taller. So you use them to hang decorations. This person is a lot shorter than everybody else. So you have them down there doing whatever. OK, you you utilize everybody's suits and you know how to communicate that to them without offending anybody. You you're you uplift people okay you raise them above their own limitations all right what do you do right now that you should never stop doing you go from the eight of wands to the nine of wands standing you know never giving up understanding that everything there's a solution to every problem there is always an answer 
to every single situation, to every question. There's a solution to every challenge, anything that comes our way. There has all, it's already been done. Everybody has been through every single scenario that is out there. It's already been done by somebody and probably hundreds of thousands of people. So if you really think you're the only person who has ever gone through this, get that out of your head, okay? Just knock that thought right out of your head. And if you know that other people have been through what you are going through, then guess what? You can get through it too if you have a positive attitude. And that's what you do. You show people how to move past their limitations. Awesome. I love this. I love this reading for you guys. All right. And then we have here the Six of Pentacles. <laughs> I love ending on this note too. You go from the starting with the Three of Pentacles okay, which is work about working together with people and blah, 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 and you go through this whole cycle and now you've doubled your um, abundance, your wealth, the production worked so well, you had a great output, okay, and that's what Spirit wants you and everyone else to know is that when you put the effort in here and you work in this happy manner and uplift people and communicate well and focus on the strengths and don't give up and understand that there's always a solution, you're going to double everything in the end, okay? And that goes for negativity. If you're focused on negativity, you're going to double your negativity. But I love the Six of Pentacles showing up here too, because for me, the Six of Pentacles is always about balance, harmony, but you always get something extra, a gift, a blessing, some sort of extra abundance extra happiness there's something extra always for me with the six of pentacles beautiful message here go ahead tick tap tickle tap or boop that like button claim it in the comments if it's yours okay we're going to get you spirit animal oracle messages this is a beautiful um reading here whoever we're focusing on has a beautiful understanding of human psyche OK, so you understand how people tick, what makes them tick, how they what makes them feel good, what makes them feel bad. We have card 63, Vulture Spirit, nothing is wasted. We have 17, co, um, Crow Spirit, Crow Create with Spirit. <laughs> we have 19, which is the Dog Spirit, be loyal to what you love. And we have number six, Beaver Spirit, lay a solid foundation. Okay, so we have double sixes here. We also have three, six, and then the nine up there. We also have eight here, and then ten. So you're definitely, you have some good numbers here. Some interesting things are happening. All right. I'm I'm kind of hearing messages and deciding, waiting for spirit to tell me which way to go here. Okay. All right. Do you wish that you could run away from your past or deny your mistakes? Oh, isn't that funny? Not so fast, says Vulture Spirit. You have gained something valuable from the experiences that you've been through. Let your grief or anger move through you, and soon your emotions will transform, for you will come to see that you have learned and you have grown. The alchemy of transformation is a gift from Spirit, so never, ever disown what embarrassed, disappointed, or shamed you, which is what I was talking about here. It will soon be a source of great wisdom and strength as you work with a magic that allows miracles to be created out of sadness and beauty to arise from the ugliness. Vulture spirit. Okay, let me reread that sentence. It will soon be a source of great wisdom and strength as you work with a magic that allows miracles to be created out of sadness and beauty to be created from the ugliness. Vulture Spirit wants you to know that you embody beauty and the alchemical transformation of the past is already happening for you. 
Hang in there because you are loved and so much beauty and joy and happiness is waiting to come out of every or the situation. So whatever you're going through, do not give up, okay? Do not give up. There's always a solution to every problem. There is always an end to every um every situation you're in. There's always an end. There's you will get through it. Okay, I just heard a crow. So the crow is telling me to read the crow. Now spirit told me to. I'm trying to get to the actual page here. Crow spirit wants to know why you think there is no magic in the world anymore. Or do you believe that there once was, but it ran out, leaving nothing but ordinary ordinariness? <laughs> Although conditions may have been challenging recently, you have no reason to believe that everything you set an intention for will uh, elude you. Right now, the outer world is shifting. Can you feel it? Maybe you are fretting about experiencing the results of some of your poor choices or from some judgments in the past. Crow Spirit is here to remind you that you can always course correct and get back on track. Okay? Maybe you've been hit by a loss or a disappointment as a result of an event that had absolutely nothing to do with what you are trying to manifest. Yet, it may have shaken you to your very core. Crow Spirit asks you to trust that no matter what the temporary outer conditions are, things will right themselves very soon. The law of balance makes it inevitable that this too shall pass. I just said, you have, everything comes to end. All right. Let's see here. What is next? Beaver Spirit has come to warn you to check for rotten wood in the foundations of your dreams. Oh, perhaps you have built your hopes on a faulty promise or wishful thinking that something would work out just because you want it to. Maybe you made a choice from a place of uh, lack or misunderstanding, hoping that once you got what you desired, it would somehow change you and make you a, make everything better. And you had to face the truth that that didn't actually happen. And it can't happen that way. Or maybe Beaver Spirit might be t trying to tell you it is time to accept things as they are and perhaps consider abandoning the project, the relationship, or situation so that you can make room for something better. When something dies, something has to fill that void and it's always something for the better. You've got the judgment card here. Whenever you release the old way of doing something, something better can come in for you. Perhaps you need to go back and rebuild a solid foundation because what you desired may not be in alignment with what Spirit has intended for you. Beaver Spirit says you can always get busy and build something fresh and new if your desire is honest and authentic. All kinds of miracles can spring up from a new, strong, solid foundation when you remember your partnership with Spirit. Be clear about your intentions, about what you want to build and why you are trying to build it. Choosing from a place of worthiness, well-being, wholeness, and authenticity. Self-understanding and acceptance will provide you with a solid blueprint to begin your journey. Get busy now. Beaver Spirit says this is not a time to procrastinate. It is a very good time to start building again. Always keeping in mind that the foundation you are laying and trusting that Spirit is co-creating with you. Okay? All right. Oh, Dog Spirit. How can we leave the loyal dog out to by himself? can't do that loyalty to people and situations can turn into attachment that can result in stagnation entanglements and loss of integrity do you fear what will happen if you let a relationship change are you afraid that asking for a situation to evolve will make others see you as disloyal Trust that when dog spirit appears, you are meant to accept the turning of the wheel of life and the changing of your fortune. If you feel that you are being betrayed or are growing apart from someone, 
Let dog spirit reconnect you with your commitment to love in every form. Perhaps a relationship is meant to evolve. Perhaps you are meant to evolve too, so that you can personally experience the growth for which your soul yearns. Your greatest loyalty is to love. So be open to all of its many forms, including self-love. You deserve the very best, and that is what spirit wants for you. So be loyal to what you love, including yourself, please. All right, let's get you a crystal spirit here, eternal crystals. There it is. We have rose quartz, love, the heart chakra, card 34, which is seven which is about wonderful things are going to happen for you soon. All right. Oh, we're going to get another one. Spirit wants to give you... Lepidolite, trust, third eye chakra and crown chakra, and this is card 26. So we have two, three, four, and then six. I'm hearing missing a beat, skipping a beat. Huh. Let's see. There might be a message in the Lepidolite. Obsidian was stuck to the book. Okay, Lepidolite says, Trust in the universe. Stay strong and positive. Stand in your own space and understand that you are exactly where you are meant to be right now. Try to remove any doubts that you might have about what is going on around you. This is a time for you to trust and for you to move forward. It is also important that you pay attention to and trust any intuitive feelings that you are receiving. This is your spirit's guides and angel's way of getting messages through to you. Even if you don't understand why something is happening right now, trust that everything will be okay, okay? Everything will work out the way it's supposed to, and everything will pass. Everything comes to an end. Lepidolite helps you to overcome any worries that you might have. It also may bring you, uh, it may also help you to become independent and opens you up to trust and self-love again. Lepidolite is associated with the third eye and crown chakras. It is known as the stone of transition. If you are transitioning in certain areas of your life at this time, take this as a great sign that you need to trust in the decision that you have made. And if you haven't made one, what you're about to, you can trust yourself. It is the right time for this transition to occur. Enjoy your new beginnings that are flowing into your life. Love that. All right, so Rose Quartz is all about self-love, loving others, taking care of yourself. There's protection here with Obsidian. 29, not 39. Obsidian is a very protective crystal. It has appeared for you today. To provide you with a grounded, protective energy. Obsidian also reminds you of the importance of psychic protection. All right, so it is very important that you feel protected on every level of your life. To physically protect yourself, imagine yourself surrounded by a very strong golden light, okay, a bubble. The color gold is used to keep your energy strong and it is an extra resilient um Two lower energies. To keep yourself physically protected when you are by yourself, take note of your surroundings. Always pay attention to what's happening. To protect yourself spiritually, surround yourself with as many positive people as you can. If there is somebody around you um, who is quite draining or negative in your life, consider protecting yourself with a golden bubble before you go near their energy. So, Picture yourself approaching them, walking up to them while you are encased in that golden bubble, okay? This stone may uh, can help remove negativity and restore your energy. Okay, let's roll the uh, number die. Actually, Spirit's saying, 
White stag protector, you are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. You use your intuition to take you where you want to go. You awaken to the powerful force within yourself. You are meant to create blessings with your magic. Awesome. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Let's roll the number die. One through five is no. Six or 12 is yes. Or however it resonates with you. If you don't understand it, please check out the videos on my channel talking about this die, the Zodiac die, the letter die. I've got all kinds of videos about tarot. Go check it out. All right. Answer number one is a two, which is a no. We have one, four, and eight. So there is a bird in here. Um, something is going to change. Once you put that burden down, this may elevate, okay, to a yes. Answer number two is a no. Again, we have eight and two, which is 10, and then we have seven and three, which is 10. And this is telling me that you are carrying the bulk of the weight in two different situations. So maybe two different relationships or within one relationship, you're giving too much in one or two aspects and the other person is just not giving up or giving enough okay answer number three is a seven which is a yes and we have seven twelve nine and three and all these numbers are upside down what is that telling me three and nine is uh 12 and then we have a 12 here so your answer is yes something about taking Flipping something, because it's upside down right now. Flip it. That's all I can tell you. That's what Spirit's giving me. Something needs to be flipped. The roles reversed. Um, something needs to be flipped. All right. So, until our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.